scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Let's lift our hands and bless the name of the Lord. Spirit, break out. Break our walls down. Lift your voice and... Bless his name. Everywhere, lift your hands and let's worship the King of Kings. Jesus, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Bless him for tonight. And say, Holy Spirit, break every wall. Every wall of limitation. Break every wall down. In the name of Jesus, break every wall down. Are you praying from the depth of your heart? Break every wall down. Break every limitation in my life down. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Break every wall down in the name of Jesus. Outside, are you praying? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, we are gathered before you tonight. We are here because we believe in you. We are here because we trust you. We are here because we want to know you. We are here because you are our helper. This is the place of strength. This is the place of wisdom. This is the place of power. This is a place of miracles. This is a place of encounters. This is a place of transformation. So Lord, we thank you. For you are bigger than what we say. You are better than what we say. You are bigger than what we say. Say, say. You are bigger than what we say. Say, say. Hallelujah. Bless our hearts tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Walk to ten people, greet them. Tell them it's good to see you. And then back to your seat. There is a sweet 
anointing in. There is a still in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried. For in the sanctuary, God is here. That's already a prophetic word for someone tonight. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary. For in the sanctuary. For in the sanctuary. God, you are here and we thank you. Change our lives tonight in the name of Jesus. Good evening, everybody. Um, I have a very serious word for us tonight. It's, it's actually an explanation where to start a new series but the spirit of God would not let me start a new series there is a key that I taught in this place that the Lord wants me to teach it again because we need to understand it again and again the Holy Spirit kept pressing on my spirit that we ought to understand some mysteries must be taught again and again and again until our spirits pick them. Are we together? The end of revelation is that we apply these truths and they produce results in our lives. And so I'm going to be challenging us on that thought and then we will pray. One of the greatest prayers you can pray as a believer is that the eyes of your understanding truly be enlightened. Are we together? The eyes of your understanding is not intelligence. The eyes of your understanding is not intellect. The eyes of your understanding is not philosophical knowledge. The eyes of your understanding is access to the mysteries of the spirit alongside their operation. You can know that these mysteries exist. You see, revelation is not knowing what God has said. Revelation is knowing how to make it work in your life. Knowing what God has said is not revelation. When you know how to make it work in your life, it told Job, knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth. Amen. It's important that when we come into God's presence, we listen. You will think that when people come into God's presence like this, the fact that you are looking at me, it doesn't mean you are listening. Are we together? People can be distracted. People can be careless. Some can be looking with their eyes open, but they are sleeping. Are we together? All kinds of things happen. It was Jesus himself that told us what happened to seeds. Some fall by the wayside. Correct seed, correct sower. Some fall by the wayside. Some fall in the midst of thorns. Some fall on a rocky ground. Even among the good soils, three kinds of results. 30-fold, 60-fold, 100-fold. May you be a 100-fold tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. A day will come in your life where you would have sufficiently gained access to the mysteries of the kingdom alongside the keys that release their power and let me tell you when that time comes you will be nothing short 
of a wonder. Everybody around you will know that the finger of God is upon your life. We make impact in this world through mysteries. We make impact in this world not through desire. It takes more than desire to make true impact for the kingdom. I'll share a thought with us and then we'll walk on a scripture and then we'll pray. Hallelujah. I shared with us here, for those of us who were not there, please listen attentively. And by the way, those following us online, we love you, we honor you, you are part of us. That there are three platforms upon which impact is established. Please listen. When God is ready to reveal himself to a man, when God is ready to do business with a man upon the earth, there are only three platforms as revealed from scripture upon which that man will access capacity to make impact. Platform number one, encounters. Don't forget this. They are not cheap. They are not basic at all encounters the first platform that grants a man access to walk with god is encounter everybody say encounter encounters are very very important because they birth spiritual realities in our spirits by encounters i don't just mean visionary encounters even encounters through the word an experience that makes God real to you. An experience that makes a dimension of God real to you. It could be aided through a vision. It could be aided through a supernatural experience. But regardless of what platform it comes through. Any experience capable of making a dimension of God become real to you. Is called an encounter. True encounters produce conviction. Not memory, conviction. A true encounter. Listen, it doesn't just leave you with a memory. It produces conviction. If you tell me you've had an encounter with a dimension of God, I will know. I don't care whether you claim you had a vision or a scripture opened up to you. When it is opened up to you, the first sign that you had an encounter is unusual conviction. It translates to faith. If God gives you an encounter of his healing power, it produces conviction. If God gives you an encounter of a dimension of spiritual reality, it must come with conviction. Say conviction. There are so many people in the body of Christ who are not convicted about the things they teach. It's one thing to teach from a theological standpoint, and that's important. It's one thing to teach from a sociological standpoint. But it's one thing to teach from a depth of conviction. It's not by shouting. It's not the volume of your voice. It's not the, the repetition of your grammar. Conviction is a realm. Where you're speaking, your listeners know that the things you are saying are true with you. Say encounters. We must crave for encounters. You know, people who don't really understand this thing think that all we are advocating is that people begin to have out of body experiences and they begin to propose as though you are telling people to not pay attention to the word of God to now begin to contend for angelic encounters heavenly encounters as above the word of God no the Bible says God appeared um, to Samuel in Shiloh by his word are we together? He appeared by his word. So an encounter doesn't necessarily mean until you see an angel. And he says, promise, I was sent from heaven to you that from today you take the healing power of God to the nations. And then every time you stand, you say, I remember what the angel said. Yes, that's an encounter. But there are men like Reinhard Bonke who had encounters. They never had any visionary experience. When you listen to Reinhard Bonke's story, he will tell you that a day came, they brought in a great man of God to preach. The man preached the first day and told all the sick people to come by the second day. 
and the morning of the second day Reinhard Bonke was excited because they were going to wheel all kinds of sick people in Africa if you tell people to bring the sick they are obedient they will bring the sick whether they are related to them or not they will that sense of nationhood will kick in they will drag every sick person and so they brought those people and the preacher told Reinhard Bonke he said the Lord told me to pack up my things and get out of this place you will preach and you will heal Renard Bonke said no 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 no. you can't be playing I mean you are the great man of God I'm only here to encourage you and he said I'm sorry I have to be on my way Renard Bonke said he cried and cried because his ministry was about to be shredded into pieces and then all of a sudden that's an encounter the word of the Lord comes you don't read it it comes in the fifth day of the fifth month of this the word of the Lord came there's the one you try to get but the one that comes is what produces encounter and Renard Bonke just looked and said Lord I will go and do the preaching and you will do the healing and that was it a man who has produced a ministry that has liberated Africa encounters you can be reading a scripture you can be reading John 3 16 but one day the word of the Lord will come to you for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him when that encounter comes you can sing songs like yes Jesus loves me you sang it in Sunday school it was not an encounter it was a recitation but when it comes as an encounter you will sing that song and you are crying and somebody looks at you and says ah, ah, you are deeper than this and he said that's the point it has not come to you but it came to me are we together encounters my life is a testimony of encounters I can point to you exact periods in my life where certain things happen that birthed certain convictions that have been responsible for releasing certain dimensions of spiritual possibilities may God give us encounters the meeting is called koinonia and the first thing you should get is an encounter if you are a prayer leader without an encounter a pastor without an encounter an apostle a prophet whatever you call yourself a time will come your lack of assurance will become evident to those you are leading are we together it's not by bold face bold face is not encounter i know god will show up please encounters produce convictions unto death but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded say god give me encounters say it again god give me encounters you believe god has called you into the ministry of kingdom wealth but you are not sure you don't have encounters so you are hoping you will be rich to prove to people that you were called into the ministry of kingdom financing you lack encounters listen an encounter makes your conviction as your primary evidence not physical results your conviction becomes your primary evidence so god can call you to the nations as at the time you are speaking the only other listener is your wife but you still say god called me to the nations i love men of convictions conviction conviction we we live in a result driven a carnal result driven generation where until you produce physical results that can be seen people oftentimes will not believe you so you will need encounters let me tell you so that when things do not happen the way you want you are still left with your encounter job said though he slay me yet will i trust him i know him the god in the mountain is still god in the valley let me tell you why many people gas out many pastors many preachers i've seen a lot of preachers say god sent me to so 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 city when the city became too hot and whipped them they left quietly encounters give you stamina encounters give you stamina encounters give you stamina he said if you turn aside in the day of battle he said your strength 
is small. One guy came and met me one time and he said, God has called him into the apostolic ministry. I said, congratulations. A few months later, it became too hot for him and he came back. He said, I get it now. I'm an evangelist. I said, go. I told him, I said, go for a retreat. A retreat that produces an encounter. Because he thought it's just in a name. Usually when it becomes too hot, people change. Persecution. <laughs> we think the name will give you access for preaching fast. So you say, I am prophet A and B and C. And then the heavy controversy that lands on your head, you quietly remove it. And say, I am pastor Joshua Selman. <laughs> Say encounters. May God give us encounters. Amen. One big secret in my life is that God used encounters to convince me of my call. Solid encounters. Both visionary encounters, word encounters, prophetic encounters. That's why no matter what anybody says or does, I will never even pray about it. That's how certain I am. When you try to explain things to people, you don't have conviction enough. Please talk to someone by your side and say, get conviction. Get conviction. Strong conviction. Are we together? Strong conviction. We doubt and we fall by the wayside. And we make a mess of... And you know, it's a terrible thing to brag so much before people. And then... You are now forced to defend your advocacy. But the encounter that will sponsor your confidence is not there. If I believe God has called me to carry the healing anointing and there are 100 wheelchairs and I pray for them and nobody gets healed, I tell them, may God bless you and uh, have a nice day. And I'll go to sleep. And someone says, but man of God, ah, it's either you are backsliding or something has happened i will go back and challenge myself to rise greater but i'll not go back saying god if it's that i didn't hear you well can you explain to me again no we're laughing but I'm, I'm trusting that god is speaking to us encounters do you know that the world follows men of conviction if i am a thief today there is, a, there is a certainty about my stealing that will force you to say, look, this guy knows what he's doing. He's worth hearing. Terrorists are men of encounter and conviction. They have met spirits. The spirits told them certain things. So while the government is trying to advise them and say, why don't you become nice social beings? They say, all of you are confused and we are out to kill you and bomb you. And you say, are you sure you'll do this? Yes. What of your life? What of your wife and your family? And they say, to hell with them. Conviction from an encounter. What encounter do you have that sponsors your confidence? Oh, I saw God give a Jimmy this. It's not enough reason. You must have a personal encounter. We lack this a lot. I'm taking out time to help you understand this. We lack this a lot in the body of Christ. You can borrow Joshua Selman's revelation. Listen to one koinonia message and just write everything out. And preach in a conference. And say, God said there is this and that and that. But you know, there is a way people look through you. And they see that even you as you are preaching, you are just saying, Lord, I hope I'm right. I'm about to pray. Joshua Selman prayed after that message. And now I'm about to pray after my own. Then you stand and speak and say, I see angels everywhere. Whether or not you are seeing them. Because you thought I was lying. So now you say, I see angels. Overflow, are you ready? Say yes. No encounter. That's how preachers disgrace themselves convention after convention till everybody in your circle stops bringing you for meetings because you have a track record of copying with no results someone can guide you but the ultimate journey is that you meet christ you meet him not just theologically but you have an encounter say amen, amen.
It's good to know the God of Joshua Selman. But stay until that God becomes your God. The people told the woman, the, the Samaritan woman, he said, we believe you now, not just because you told us. We have seen him for ourselves. You came and introduced us, but ah, talking with him, he did something to us. In the name of Jesus, may God give us encounters. Over your business, over your life, over your family, so that when you go and you look at your CGPA, and you look at it, from 4.5 god forbid but you drop to 3.5 and you see three carryovers you don't suddenly say ah and god said i'll be a leader god you must come and you see some prayers are, are revelations of the doubts you've been nursing for many years so what you have feared secretly now comes upon you and you say god but you told me now you told me eh? You told me that this brother will marry me. This one that he has done introduction. What are you saying? Don't make noise until you have the burning bush experience. We brag too much on hearsay. I watch preachers talk sometimes and I'm saying, Be careful though. Jesus is Lord. But his Lordship is exercised with wisdom and understanding. If you are not healed in this meeting, except I'm not called. Hey. At the end of the meeting, only two people are healed. Encounters. Encounters. I crave for them. I create the atmosphere for them. I desire them in my life. Encounters. It's not about reading the Bible, Genesis to Revelation. It's not about quoting scripture as important as it is. It's not about a display of Greek and Hebrew words. Encounters produce convictions. Convictions produce faith. Faith moves mountains. It's not what you do. It's the conviction behind what you do. Number two. The second platform upon which men do business with God is a comprehension or access to the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom revelation of the mysteries of the kingdom an encounter is one you meet a person in an encounter but you must comprehend the principles of the kingdom is god helping us tonight your knowledge of the principles the working knowledge of the principles of the word of god is another platform for you to activate a life and a destiny of impact so what principles do you know it says and i will give you the keys right and whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven king james says whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven amplified says whatever you allow whatever you disallow the power to release realities and the power to close doors is called the key of david your life there is a dimension of impact in your life hear me brothers and sisters that is a product of the mysteries that you know this is what i define as dominion You've heard me say it again and again. Dominion is not an impartation. Dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom. We've spent this year, as much as many other years, dissecting these mysteries. Under the teaching Secrets of the Kingdom, the series, get it, Secrets of the Kingdom, right? I taught you six mysteries that control mighty, dramatic manifestations upon the earth. Mystery number one, I taught you, is the law of surrender. The law of surrender. That this is the mystery that holds the key to unusual amounts of unction upon the lives of people. Complete surrender. Complete surrender. Mystery number two is the power of a transformed mind. For as he thinketh in his heart, right? So he's so he is i told you realities are first formed in the realm of the spirit before they find expression in the physical realm so you never try to change anything 
by physically trying to alter it you alter it from the realm of the spirit and it changes mystery number three is the law of competence seest thou a man diligent in his business he says he shall not stand before mean men he shall stand before kings are we together we we did this very very mystery number four i explained to you the secret of coming out of situations that are about to swallow you in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path that's what the bible says he said trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding a time must come in a man's life where you face challenges that are bigger than your current level of exposure you don't know anything about that challenge nor how to go out at that time the key is to acknowledge him he says in all thy ways acknowledge him praise is a weapon for acknowledgement so as you begin to acknowledge him there is a promise attached he said he will make straight your path mystery number five is the mystery I call it the irrefutable mystery of destiny helpers men and women anointed commanded instructed to appear in your destiny and take you to the next level I'm doing a recap it is please I don't know how to plead with you believe what I'm teaching you and understand it and you will change your life there are three kinds of destiny helpers I shared with us the other time number one they are called divine connectors they do not have the ability to help you but they can link you to where your help is divine connectors number two men of influence they have the capacity both the economic power both the governmental power right the intellectual prowess to endorse you and open up doors for you an example of such a person is Joseph of Arimathea. A man who, through his influence, Jesus was ordered to come down from the cross and buried in a tomb. You need them. And then number three, faithful men. The third kind of destiny helpers, faithful men. 400 of these men came to David. David was running, he was a failure, he was broke, he was on his way, ministry had packed up, but 400 men came and they entered a covenant with themselves to be loyal to him until he became king. And then the last mystery, which in my opinion is the most powerful, maybe secondary to only an encounter, is the law of honor. Hebrews 7.7 7, And without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the greater. I told you that there is a system in the body of Christ. Nobody blesses himself. You cannot lift yourself to a new dimension. Are we together? No matter how anointed you are, no matter how great you are, at every point in your life, there are people below you trusting God for your grace to lift them. There are people above you. There are those who already represent what your future aspirations are. And there are people who you represent their future aspiration. The recognition of that is the key to living where you are to the next level. You ignore the law of honor, you will pay for it dearly. You ignore the law of honor, you will pay for it dearly. There are human beings that represent systems. The recognition of what they represent alongside the possibilities God has opened unto them will bring you into their realm of reality. Honor is the key to access. Every time a door closes over your life, dishonor closed it. And every time a door opens over you, honor opened it. So there are many other mysteries that we have to learn. I can teach you mystery upon mystery upon mystery. One of it is he that wants friends must first show himself friendly now you read these things as verses until god opens your eyes then you'll see the reason why many people never have the gift of men because they are not friendly to be friendly does not mean to be a clown to be friendly means to be hospitable are we together 
It says that you neglect not being hospitable for in it, many have entertained angels unaware. It was through hospitality Sarah trapped the angels and they gave a revelation about the inevitable doom of Sodom and Gomorrah. And it was on the strength of that hospitality that Abraham was given access to that mystery and with it he rescued Lot. Praise the Lord. The third platform upon which men receive from God and create lives of notable impact in the earth is covenant connection. Covenant connection. Covenant connection. May God make us believe what I'm sharing. May God make us believe it. May God make us believe it in the name of Jesus Christ. Covenant connection. The Bible speaking about men and describing the nature and the character of their success says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the, sin, the seat of the scornful. It says, but his delight, what? Is in the law of the Lord. And on that law he meditates day and night. Then he says, he shall be. This is how his success will be. In the similitude of that of a tree. If the Bible says you shall be like something, study that thing. It says the success of a believer will be like that of a tree. How does a tree rise? Number one, it is planted. From the stem that rises, branches begin to come. All branches do not move in the same direction. But regardless of their direction, the strength of the branches are determined by the strength of the vine that they are connected to. They may face different directions and the trees can grow so tall, taller than buildings. And the trees can stand for years and decades. Branches fall and rise. They are pruned and they come again. But the stem connected to the root remains intact. Any branch that cuts itself outside of the vine dies. You don't water the branches. You water the roots. And it has a system. Are we together? Trying to pour water on leaves is a waste of time. A system. So he said he shall be like a tree. Listen. Our personal spiritual growth is based on relationship. But kingdom advancement is based on covenant. Please you have to understand this. Our personal work with God is based on relationship. However kingdom advancement is based on covenant. Not the covenant of Moses. Not the covenant of the New Testament. I'm not talking old and new covenant. A covenant is a system through which God guarantees a continuity of his program. Now listen, listen, look up please. Let me teach you this. Get it, get it in the name of Jesus Christ. The way the kingdom works is through the principle of covenant and alignment. Please listen. So what happens is that every dispensation has a dimension of spiritual realities that they should experience. Which is part of the ongoing unfolding of the multifaceted dimension of God. Are we together? So every dispensation has a dimension of God earmarked for them to experience. But the nature and the character of that revelation is such that when God wants to come in in a dimension... To a territory and a dispensation his first assignment is to find a man say a man when he finds a man he enters a personal covenant with that man that personal covenant becomes the platform upon which that dimension of god is revealed to the dispensation no other person will access that dimension in that dispensation out of alignment to the person in covenant with god are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. God will not reveal the same thing to everybody. He will reveal the same thing to one person and direct every other person who wants to experience that part of him 
to align with the covenant that he has had upon that man or upon that system are we together the yardstick that he uses to bring men to that experience is called an election of grace it has nothing to do necessarily with their personal yieldedness it is part of his sovereignty and his predeterminate counsel so god calls men every time you are talking about redemption the journey of redemption and the doctrine of christ starts from abraham not noah not adam are we together whether it's christianity whatever kind of religion the moment they are communicating the doctrine of christ the genesis of the blueprint of the doctrine of christ starts from abraham god called one man to come out of a place called all of the chaldeans genesis chapter 12 right he wanted to use his father terror but something happened and he the, the you know the button passed on to abraham and he called abraham an idol worshiper out of all of the chaldeans and he called him and he said look i am calling you out come out of your father's house your kindred and all of that and i will do certain things with you and abraham obeyed him there are so many people in the bible that represents god's covenant point there are portals that open their dispensation and their generations to certain dimensions of god that law did not die with the coming and the going of jesus christ there are still men today that represents new dimensions of god or continuity of his program hmm. are we together alongside your encounter alongside your comprehension of the laws of the spirit your covenant connection to men or systems that represent the continuity of god in that dimension but this is where satan cheats a lot of people please listen to me carefully this is something else i'm talking about but we need to understand this god asked me to reiterate these things you know why we honor men we honor men for many reasons number one is the anointing they carry number two the sacrifice that they have with god that has brought certain levels of possibilities in their life number three is the spiritual system that they represent when david wanted permission to fight goliath do you know the question saul asked he said whose son is this in other words i want to know the tribe he came from so that i know whether this can be possible this boy is too young i'm a king but I need to know where he's coming from so we can trace the history of the spiritual deposits God left with that tribe. And when they found out that David was of the Benjamite, he said, go and fight. David came to him and he said, Goliath, I know you think I'm a small boy, but there is a tribe standing before you, not a person. Watch what happens to you now. Goliath said, am I a dog? David said, we will we'll see who, who is the dog. I have seen people in my life who never become billionaires but they never lack whether they pray or not even when they are not tithing it's a covenant there is something they are connected to whether they know it or not that affords them those spiritual possibilities <sighs> open our eyes oh god in the name of jesus christ i have seen pastors who when they stand to teach you will almost sleep but when they call upon the god of heaven he shows up it's not personal encounter in fact many of them may have a lot of character defaults and while you are talking about their character it's like god owes them his presence they call him and he must show up there is a covenant he respects he says my covenant will i not break nor alter the thing that is gone forth from my mouth are we together so some of our people although they were in the village with witchcraft they had 16 children one woman 16 children and yet after 16 children the woman is still standing her stomach is still as flat as an arrow you wonder whether the children grew in a basket it's a covenant brothers and sisters it's not about knowing what drug to take some things are spiritual when they are spiritual they show and you see it Do you believe what I'm teaching you? Hmm. Oh, you better believe it. 
so that when you look at a man you know that not every result you see was initiated by his personal altar when you know that there will be no room for pride when God begins to give you results because you will know that certain dimensions of your result are purely an issue of alignment purely an issue of what alignment spiritual alignment There was a time, for instance, in living faith, it still happens, where there were strange testimonies, 2005, 2006, creative, those ones were, it's what the Bible calls the walking of miracles, not testimonies, where a man would tell you, I was a cleaner, and by Sunday, the owner of the company said he's leaving Nigeria, and they made me a CEO. Strange testimonies. So you see somebody who drag himself and he's sleeping while they are preaching. Sleeping. They say in Jesus' name, he never says amen. He's even angry. But something still came on him. With the anger, he turns and he leaves and goes back and the landlord says, you are staying five years in this house. The rent is, is free. And the man says, I don't understand what is happening to me. Two weeks later, they call him and say, there is a job we want to give you. And he says, I don't understand. There is a covenant. When God looks at you, he sees the covenant. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. If you know this thing I'm teaching you, you can, you can make, it's not a license to sin. You can make the worst blunder on earth. Quarter to shame. The covenant kicks in. And God says, I remember. <sighs> Jonah! Jonah was running as a rebel. But God used what happened to describe what will happen to Jesus. Jonah! He says the same way Jonah was in the belly of the fish. Was that a good testimony? Yet yeah, Jesus used it. God had Solomon for the sake of his father, David. When Solomon dedicated the temple, he lifted the temple and he said, Lord, I enter a covenant with you that whoever faces this temple and pray, whether their faith level is there or not, hearken to them. So in the days of Daniel, they signed a policy and they said nobody should pray. Daniel knew that if he will use his personal faith, he's a human being. The truth about it is that it was not just his personal spiritual life. So he opened the window to Jerusalem and he started praying. And listen, that was why he was sure when they were about to throw him in the lion's den. God did not show up because of Daniel. He showed up because of the covenant. What have you enjoyed in your life because of covenant connection? Some of us, every good thing that has happened to you has come because of your, your personal push, which is good. But brothers and sisters, the demand that life will place on you will be greater than your spiritual life. And if you have to wait till you become strong, you may not even live for that to happen. There are people in Koinonia here, they are not tithing, but they are having strange results. They, even them, they are doubting, they are saying, what's wrong? Something is covering you. It's a covenant. Break every chain. Break every chain. Those who know this do business with God upon the earth and open strange doors. Strange doors. Strange doors. Living faith redeemed an MFM. There are three ministries that have seen them with such a strange covenant of, of ownership. They can enter any land regardless of the vow the government made not to give them land. They must give them land as much as they want. It's a revelation. Are we together? Brothers and sisters, some things are not just about fasting and prayer. There is an advantage God placed in the body. And if you are not aware of it, you may never step into certain dimensions. Never step into certain dimensions. 
I came to show you certain things. God said I should teach it again. If God says I should teach it, it means many of us did not get it. There are certain things in my life I will, I will never suffer and struggle over. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that foolish. I am not that foolish. You see, it's a painful thing when you are suffering certain things that is available by covenant to the tribe you belong to. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Elijah was a man who had a covenant with God that represented the system of the prophetic and the apostolic. He had other sons called the sons of the prophet. Is that true? But he had a strange man who was a farmer called Elisha. Elisha was not a prophet. Elisha was a farmer. He casted his mantle upon him and Elisha started following him. Join other prophets. Listen. And then the Bible says a time came when Elijah, Elijah was about to go to heaven. Is that a normal human being? Is that how you go to heaven? But that's how he went to heaven. That's how you know that it's not a normal human being. He knew where the gate of heaven was. Beyond the Jordan. He said, I'm about to leave. He knew where to wait for the chariots. Ah. A man was taking fresh air on a mountain. And they came to harass him. He used one of the elements of the supernatural caught fire. He said, I will not just use my mouth. If I be a man of God, let fire come from heaven. He prayed once and fire came. Is that how you pray when you stand? Look at what... He, hi. Koinonia, hear what I'm teaching you. Listen. When they were about to judge the prophets of Baal, there are some dimensions of witchcraft that is your covenant of connection that dislodges them. Not just your personal prayer and fasting. When the prophets of Baal were there, they were prophets under the custody of Jezebel. And look at the mockery. Elijah said, laugh. He said, he said, cut yourself, shout. Maybe your God is sleeping. Look, if I am Elijah, I will be fasting. <laughs> Deliver me, oh God. Wipe my tears. For the sake of your glory. I will be writing out the worship songs. Looking for somebody to play a cymbal. But here was a man crossing his leg. And mocking at them. From morning till evening he laughed. Because he knew they were wasting their time. After everything. They caught themselves. So that their God will see blood. And remember their covenant with him. When they tried singing and praising and it did not work. They danced around the prophets of Baal. They started bringing blood. What is blood? The covenant. Baal, remember our covenant as prophets with you. And Elijah shut the heavens and said, keep calling on him. Then when it was time for Elijah, I thought Elijah would have just said, all right, God, fire come down. He would have been surprised. He said, give me 12 stones. 12 stones listen listen let me teach you something the bible says in the new jerusalem it said the gates of the city there were 12 gates and the gates had a name of the 12 tribes of israel every one of those tribes represented a dimension of god and 12 foundations having the name of the apostles he said give me 12 stones and the prophets of Baal were watching after it he put a sacrifice and then he said pour water the water was a mystery. It was not just trying to say so that you don't think I hit fire. Because there are three forces that open the gates in this earth realm. The spirit, the water, and the blood. So he said, pour water. Afterwards, he lifted his eyes to the heaven. The pattern was correct. Follow me. And he said, oh God. And the fire, the Bible said the fire came, licked the sacrifice, and swept everything right and then hear what he said the moment that happened he said pursue all the prophets of Baal don't let one escape and kill them hear me people of God there are dimensions there are kinds of mountains that were never designed to be approached alone we fool ourselves thinking because we know God every mountain will just go like that it's, all things are possible but they are, they are possible based on the knowledge available to you if you can
can see me as I'm going you will have something the moment he left and he held the mantle he would have gone to the well and say I am a man of God Pat, he would have been surprised he said where is the Lord God as far as God was concerned he did not see Elisha he saw the covenant did the water obey absolutely do you know why Joshua was successful God transferred a mystery to him as I was with Moses as I was the way I related with him so I will relate with you he said and because of that no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life so when the angel appeared Joshua removed his knife and he was going to kill the angel the angel had to explain he would have died the word of God would have killed the angel not the sword of Joshua he said are you for us or against us and the angel said hold on neither he had to explain because a man was running with the word of God the Bible says for instance it says where two or three are gathered where in my name the meaning is as touching my authority there is a dimension of God that only shows up on that corporate fellowship you will never have that dimension alone in your room fast for 100 days you will not see those things that was why the psalmist was crying he said early will i seek you he said to see your power and your glory in my life as i have seen in the sanctuary there's something i've seen that only happens when believers gather i've not seen it can you make it happen in my life hallelujah he says if two of you shall agree hold my hands Jimmy, as touching anything there are certain levels of prayer that is not just about i am alone the veil has been torn I, I'm, I'm alone i can access christ it's a system there are certain levels of difficulty that when two or three agree you can just say one prayer that was why the apostles when they were threatening them did they pray individually Acts chapter 4. Remember they came together because they understood this. It took that kind of grace to bring the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. They could not pray alone and have the Holy Spirit come. So when the Bible says Acts chapter 2 verse 1. Now when the day of Pentecost was fully come. He said they were all gathered in one accord. That formation gave the Holy Spirit room to come. In Acts chapter 4 when they threatened them they came together and said lord behold their threatenings he says stretch forth your right hand now to heal and that signs and wonders be wrought through your holy child and the building shook there is a difference between your personal prayer life and the body of christ the body of christ is a mystery of possibilities when you understand the mysteries that govern the body of christ you will do things that you will never imagine you would have done Are we together i remember when a few people wrote jam here you were you were testaments of the things marks being added i'm not talking of those 40 40 marks you see people someone will check his jam 197 go and check again 231 how did that happen look let me tell you something when you see a man of god study the systems around his life don't just say this person is anointed Kai, he has power what makes the heaven owe him it's like it's like god god owes certain men of god a debt he must pay even if they call his name joking he has to show up there is something that makes that happen my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god our covenant is calling you oh god take my praise oh god take my praise oh god sing it one more time my altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you. Oh God. 
is calling you. Oh, come, take my praise. Oh, come, take my praise. Listen, let me tell you something powerful. Numbers 24. Let me do my teaching now. Mike. Numbers 24. Let me share something with you that will break some gates open. I want your spirit to be sensitive. Something will happen in this place today. Numbers 24. Mm. Mambro setarakota shalabratika parata. Balaam was called by Balak to curse the nation of Israel. I've shared it here. The Lord asked me to repeat it, so I'm repeating it. Now listen. And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, it's actually 23, 24. I'm jumping for time's sake. Follow the story. He went not as in other times to seek for enchantment. Now, there's a lot to say about Balaam. The Bible talks about the doctrine of Balaam, the error of Balaam, the way of Balaam. There is a long story on that. I don't want to go into that. But he set his face towards the wilderness. Let's rush it. Go ahead. And Balaam lifted his eyes. Balaam wanted to find out where... Listen, listen. Let me explain the whole scene for you. A prophet is brought by Balak. And he said, cause koinonia. Make things to start going wrong for people. Are we together? Now, Balaam tells them, look, oh, I am a prophet. In other words, I don't speak the way I want. So as we stand here, whatever you hear me say is what God is saying. Agreed? They said agreed. So they brought gifts. Balaam would have sought God by lifting his face to the hills. That's the key. Sammy said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. They know where their help comes from. But now Balaam used enchantment so that God would not be able to prophesy through him. Are you getting the story? He used divination to invoke spirits so that they will prophesy. So Balaam stood and after he used those enchantments, he was about to curse and his mouth produced blessings. And he was surprised. He moved to another place again and used invocations about to speak and he blessed them. He went to another place about to speak and he blessed them. And Balaam said, Balak was angry. And he said, what is all this? I brought you to curse them. All that has been coming out of your mouth is blessings. Please watch this. And Balaam lifted his eyes to check. They were on a mountain. And he said, no, I'm a prophet. Let me look. What is the reason why no cause is working? And this is what he saw. Hallelujah. And he saw Israel abiding in what? His tents. There was a spiritual formation from the valley. Israel were wise people. They didn't just say, let's rest. They said, ah, it is possible that the kings will come and destroy us. So let us engage the formation. There is a pattern. Mm. They arranged themselves according to their tribes with the ark of God being at the center. And they said, let's see who will cause us. They kept the ark there. So when Balaam stood at the mountain to cause the ark fought him back. And he said, I don't know what is wrong. I can't cause them. I can't cause them. Then listen to what he said. According to their tribes, and finally the spirit of God came upon him. This is what he said. The secret. And he took a parable. That's how prophets, remember Hosea chapter 12? I have spoken in similitudes or parables. I have multiplied visions. He took a parable and he said, Balaam, the son of Beor, had said, speaking about himself, and the man whose eyes are open, talking about himself, had said, verse 4, and he had said, which heard the words of God, which saw the visions of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. Verse 5. How goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel. That's the secret. I look at your tent and your spiritual formation, and I see you arranged in a way that no cause, no enchantment, that's why he said no divination, no enchantment against Jacob. It's not just because they are Christians. Please listen to what I'm teaching you now. 
there was a spiritual pattern and literally Balaam as a true prophet could not curse them they didn't fight they just could not curse them when it was time in in second chronicles 20 verse 20 oh well we read from verse 15 downwards if there's time they were about to fight three kings came together to fight them and the bible said they had another formation Kai. these guys use formations for victory not stories they inquired of the lord what pattern will produce the result and they said let the worshipers be in front and when the worshippers were in front together with the ark the warriors were behind he said this is not an issue of sword and they began to sing hearken all judah and ye inhabitants of jerusalem and thou king jehoshaphat thus said the lord be not afraid or dismayed by reason of this great multitude for the battle is not yours but the lord's let's read down quickly tomorrow go up against them and so on and so forth 17. listen he said ye shall not what set yourselves and stand still and see the salvation of the lord o judah and jerusalem fear not or be dismayed tomorrow you go up against them verse and joseph had bowed his head this and that and that verse 19 there's something i'm looking for now listen and the levites and the children of the Kohathites and of the children of all of those people stood up to what praise the lord of the lord god of israel with a loud voice on high right and then of course they rose early in the morning and then when they began to praise you know a prophecy came next verse he says and when he had consulted the people he appointed what look at the formation who did he appoint do you use musicians to fight war musicians to fight war three kings about to kill you i hope you know they were not acting it was real death but there was a pattern he says and they should praise the beauty of his holiness and as they went out before the army and to say praise the lord for his mercy endured forever what happened and when they began to sing and to praise the lord set ambushment against the children of ammon moab and mount Seir, which were come against judah and were smitten next verse for the children of this stood up to slay themselves read the last sentence if you're a christian want to read everyone helped to destroy military people killing themselves there were two left and he said who dies first say you either kill the other person and killed himself while they were doing that other people were there invoking a pattern listen there's something i teach the school of ministry students called the reflection principle listen i want to teach you something very powerful it's a principle that is used in occultism it's a principle that is used it was an an aberration of god's principle listen you only host a spirit and a dimension of the possibility of a spirit if you create the atmosphere for that spirit to feel at home as though it were in its primary place of habitation are you getting what i'm saying so if the ambassador of u.s comes to the u.s consulate office in abuja it was designed to accommodate him his appetites the colors the architecture are we together there is a pattern based on the ideology of the united states they built the embassy that way so whether he is in nigeria or he's in america it does not make any difference to him because the embassy in nigeria reflects the dexterity and the glory of america are we together now watch this if i want a spirit any spirit please give me this sir. sorry no if i want a spirit assuming i'm a herbalist i am not a herbalist assuming i'm a herbalist are we together and i want a spirit to come upon this i'm not just going to say spirit come spirit break out and then you think it will come no there is i must find out 
what that spirit is and the nature of its operation and the kind of atmosphere that makes it come and I will make this water become like the atmosphere the spirit must come atmospheres and magnets they draw spirits and they draw possibilities to the earth and to territories please listen to this this is very important so this is what the psalmist said the Holy Ghost wanting to come into the new creation he said a body has thou prepared you prepared it in such a way that when I come into that body it will be as though I am in heaven when the body was prepared the spirit could come and that body today is called the ecclesia the body of Christ it was built in a particular way Christ the foundation the apostolic and the prophetic and then the, it rises and he said that body you have prepared for me so God is able to function on earth because of the body that has been prepared for him are we together now when during our traditional festivals when they want to see certain spirits what do the masquerades do or the priests? they wear a particular attire having a particular kind of animal skin alligator skin then some use snakes some use hyenas come on talk to me africa are we together so we have don't don't act as if you came from 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 the middle east we are here we are home amen they use fire they provoke these spirits they start chanting tongues and start moving in a particular direction they can move here small and come back again they can run and come back while they are doing that someone can be playing drums are we together and then at a particular point the snake will start coming out when the snake starts coming out they start dancing and putting fire because the snake is reflecting what is happening in the realm of the spirit so the gods are now coming the moment that happens what happens it's like people are under the anointing even the priests they are under their anointing they start doing crazy things they took fire in their mouth and nothing happens because a spirit landed let me tell you why it landed there was a pattern i counseled one man um on on tuesday on wednesday in abuja before i came he's one of the popular nigerian directors directors of nigerian film you know and all of that and he told me something he said man of god most of the nigerian films you see us acting the snake we use they are real snakes but what they do is they go to charmers you know these guys are charm snakes so they give them a particular ring so that they can pick the snake and nothing will happen the ring has a pattern it's a language the snake understands that's why sometimes it backfires because those powers expire they must be renewed if at the point of expiration you are the one holding the snake the snake that you were you were in nice romance we would turn and enjoy you immediately are we together patterns so there are men whose lives are patterns you curse them it returns back to you and you are wondering see it is on this basis that you can say i am uncursable now the problem with the church is we say revelations without we we make statements without the spiritual revelation that activates those possibilities i am uncursable in the name of jesus and you find out there's a curse at work in your life clearly everybody knows you are cursed i am not cursed you are cursed we are seeing it it is on the strength of this there is a pattern don't laugh are we together so someone can vow like they vowed to paul and they said paul we will not eat nor drink until you are until you die and paul lived many years afterwards i'm teaching you something you can do on earth that is is like a spiritual formation that will make the Holy Spirit respond to you in a certain way and you will see doors open and you'll be wondering what happened is a pattern Balaam stood on the mountain and he saw the pattern and he said I can't cause them I'm trying I'm making efforts listen I can't tell you how many times on my way to travel people will call me and say apostle I just had a dream are you about to travel i say yes they say please sir don't travel 
I love you so much. Koinonia loves you. I just had a dream this morning. And in that dream, I saw a plot. And I saw that you had a ghastly motor accident. And you died. And then I said, okay, I appreciate. Now, they are not, they are not lying. They saw it. And what they saw was correct. But there is a pattern. Kabarato Satayaba. David, I'm come and sing a song there, my spirit. Your influence is all over me, right? I'm under the shadow of your wings. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your wings. And your influence is all over me. Let's say. sit down listen brothers and sisters when it comes to kingdom advancement don't just think of your personal spiritual life alone there are limitations to your personal spiritual life as far as kingdom advance is concerned there are certain strategies of witchcraft that it takes more than you as a person to conquer it's not that Christ is not king of kings and lord of lords please hear me is a law there are formations there are things that have been engaged that requires the strength of the body not your strength alone if you do not understand this you will have a lot of casualties and you will mock yourself spiritual patterns formations that make men forbidable on earth they wanted to curse him just like somebody from your village now wants to curse you and you have been saying in the name of Jesus I'm uncursable I agree with you potentially but you have to engage the mystery that makes your word valid otherwise you will be shouting I will not be cursed until they, they, they kill you like a chicken are we together please listen listen There are three of these spiritual patterns that I want you to learn tonight. I don't know if we can touch all three, but we'll stop somewhere and pray. The first of that pattern listen is the power of altars an altar is a pattern I'm not talking altar like coven no an altar is a token that represents a point where covenants are enacted every time a covenant is enacted an altar is raised on earth as a memorial you see that all through in scripture every time people had covenants with god 
or with themselves they raised what altars an altar is nothing diabolic at all an altar is just a token it's a representation it doesn't even have to be physical a representation please listen a representation a platform that affords covenant to not only be renewed not only be remembered but to be activated three things happen on altars renewal right continuity or servicing if you want to call it and then the third is activation spiritual realities are activated upon altars listen please listen every man of god every true ministry called of god has an altar they may not call it altar they may call it all kinds of things some call it covenant some call it altar i don't care what they call it but this is what it is it is a token that represents a covenant between god and that man and serves as a memorial the altar that was raised in the day of of um noah when he raised that altar there was a sign of a rainbow is that true and god gave this as a token when circumcision itself is a token i hope you know when you circumcise a child it's a revelation that was given to abraham circumcise them joshua circumcise them the power and the revelation of the patterns that altars create are things we should never take for granted especially in such a wicked world koinonia has an altar you hear us sing that song my it's nothing diabolic i don't mean babala or something no, that's not what i'm talking about as a person there are covenants that i've had through my encounters with god that have become the platforms upon which certain possibilities ride the same way i have gleaned upon the covenant of others with god and it has become an advantage it has boosted my personal spiritual life it has boosted the possibilities that i can see in my own life please hear me and i want you to be sensitive we're about to pray be very sensitive right now when abel died when cain killed abel what cried please answer me what cried and he said the blood of abel cries and the blood is speaking abel is dead the blood is saying revenge you have to bring vengeance upon cain and jesus now says that even his blood too speaks the only difference is that his blood speaks better things which were predicated on a better covenant are we together there are altars that speak over the lives and the destinies of men please listen 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 i want to give you spiritual intelligence you don't bind an altar it was enacted by covenant it's called the law of displacement there are two lights they keep shining until a greater light comes then it overshadows them are we together these are spiritual laws so many people do not know the foundation upon which their predicaments are coming they think it's just an issue of personal retreat for three days have you seen people who are praying and fasting on the last day of the fast what they were praying against is what happens maybe somebody sleeps with you in a dream and you charge and get angry and you go and say look three days i'm praying on the third day drive fast you are looking like a skeleton you are about to break you just decided to take a nap for the last 30 minutes and here the person comes as if your prayer made nonsense in the prayer you are shouting, jesus jesus and the person is just looking at you and say keep shouting your jesus there and comes to do exactly what he said to do you know why i know this thing so well because it happened in my life have you've heard my story wicked spirits will come and oppress me and come into my room 
my own was not even an experience i see them they see me but i couldn't do anything about it Some of you say, I shouted Jesus, the pastor said, shout it well. You shouted it well. Nothing happened. Please, don't laugh. I'm giving you a mystery because we're about to pray. Are we together? We have lost the advantage of the patterns that God gave the body. It's not about an individual's personal success. There are times when the secret to your breakthrough is based on alignment to covenants that God has had. And he will respond to you and have respect for the covenant. Are we together? There are people who have a covenant with God that every time they show up in a city, there must be breakthroughs. So they show up in a city to have a crusade. And when they show up to have a crusade, people who have no business with that crusade receive breakthroughs that have nothing to do with that ministry because for as long as that individual is there that territory has an advantage of tapping into the covenant that he has are you getting what i'm saying there are people who personally their prayer life is dead but when they get to the prayer department on tuesday to pray you find out that you who was struggling to pray for five minutes, you now stretch for two hours. It's because something picked you. That's why you can go back home and say, ah. So it is God's system to help you. So that even when your spiritual life is down, Satan will still not be able to reach you. Before you come back to life, there is a system that covers you. Altars that we can take advantage of. There are men who when they come into a city, you know, everything shakes. It's not by the loudness of the publicity, but they come in with the presence they carry. They come in with the covenants that they carry and you find out that there are strange results, strange testimonies that happen to people and then they leave. We'll find somewhere and stop. I want to pray. My life has changed like day and night because of this truth that I have discovered I found it as a key because there were certain limitations in my life though anointed though a great man of God though having encounters with Jesus at a point in my life there were certain mountains that would not move there were certain doors that would not open regardless of what I did and I said Lord but your word says, if I have faith like a monster seed, I know that I have faith. And then God began to teach me. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep because they cannot discern the body. Their inability to discern the body that has been prepared to host the spirit. Everything is possible, but you need to know how to make it possible. You need to know how to make it possible. This night, looking at me and hearing me by the thousands, are men and women who have done certain things alone. You have struggled. Spiritually, you love God. You have held on to some of these principles. But the truth is that door has refused to open. You have done what you know to do. I show you the third key you must engage. It's called the power of alignment to covenants. The power of alignment to covenants. The power of alignment to covenants. God has entered covenants with individuals. He has entered covenants with systems. Please, I can beg you. Some of you are looking for admission. Listen to what I'm telling you and get into school. Otherwise, sit down there roaming around that you have 230 and repeat the same nonsense that has been going on. Some things in life will not move just by your personal faith. Do you know that when Jesus was on earth, he was not the only miracle worker? Please answer me. Is that true? 
There was a time his disciples saw other people who were not in Jesus' camp, but they were still performing miracles. Not by Baal, not Beelzebub. And they said, ah, Jesus, this is, this is strange. Ah, I thought you were the savior. And he said, I paraphrase him. I came to introduce something new. But until the new comes, the old is still valid. There was a way miracles were done in the old covenant. There were people who believed it. There was a priesthood that made it possible. For instance, an angel would come and steer the water. Was Jesus around when it happened? No, but it happened. A particular prophet in the Bible, when a woman was sick or someone was sick, he made herbs, leaves, and put it on the legs of the person. Are we together? If you understand what I'm teaching you, then you will know that when you stand and the mountains look like they are not, you have done all you know to do. Listen, stop trying harder. The key is not harder. The key is step back and look at the body of Christ. Don't look at yourself again. Look at the body of Christ. What spiritual tribe is connected to the possibility that will open the door I'm looking for. You can be a man of God full of grace and prayer, but you know that there is no prosperity in your ministry. And you are saying, Lord, we have prayed, we have fasted. This prosperity thing is not working. Step back and look at the body of Christ. A body has thou prepared for me. Sometimes God can give you just one instruction. Go to any living faith branch. Hold what you have as a seed and go and sow it in that. You don't even have to be prayed for. The moment you pray for it, you go back and God says, fine. What you have done is called alignment to a covenant. And God begins to relate with you the same way he relates with God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo. And you will find out mysteriously, mysteriously. Something happened recently. Somebody called me and they had a court case recently. And Ejimi, this court case, humanly speaking, was already against the person. There is no human way on earth he would have won that case. And when he called me, I said, tell me the truth. When he told me everything, ah, I said, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Because I, I, I know a bit about legalities. And I know that based on that thing, if he's to spend time in the prison, it will be nothing less than 10 years away from his wife and his children. But I told him, I said, well, I don't know what to tell you, but if you can believe what I want to tell you, there can be a way out. I told him, I said, I can pray for you. God has given me grace for territories and I want to pray for you. I prayed for that guy. Do you know I got to find out he didn't even show up on the day of because of fear he didn't show up in the court. He refused to show up and later he would tell me that the judge looked and looked at everything and threw away the case from the court. Now please brothers and sisters please you went to school you are intelligent in Nigeria who does that? <sighs> you right you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty. The Bible says Christ is the head of all principalities. He recognizes their existence. So he says your only advantage is that I am the head. Not that you say they are not there. No. It's your Bible. I'm teaching you spiritual intelligence. But many people say, assume they are not there. Are you kidding? When they refuse Jesus from entering back, they say, who is this king of glory? He had to explain himself. Christ is the head of principalities he said he has been made above thrones so he recognizes them above dominions and every name that is named not only in this earth but in the world to come what do you not know that is responsible for the devil 
sinking through your life and making it look like God is not alive. Please hear what I'm saying. A job will not just come because you think you're a Nigerian. There are mysteries. You have done, there are many arrogant pastors in ministry who are suffering. This, they've done everything to do. But the key is an alignment. An alignment that opens up spiritual possibilities. An alignment. Those who were in Mina, I'm sure maybe my friend Pastor Pete Rock is listening. Pete Rock, you know, I love House on the Rock and all of that. When we went to Mina, Aaron, you were there. The same thing you see in Koinonia. Crowds here, overflow on top and then outside. It's alignment. Brothers and sisters, you may be a musician, but you can align to a system that will give you more than songs. You will find out that things are opening. You are a student, but you align to somebody who is paying you salary. And they say, no, you must be sleeping with the man. You say, no, I, I, I just belong to a tribe that has a covenant with God that is respected even by hell. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, what is not at work in your life is still available. It takes humility and alignment. Many people will insult me for what I'm teaching you now because they will think I'm teaching you human worship. God is my witness. I, I, I don't have time for all of those things, but you have to be careful who you listen to. Don't let men do well-meaning to deceive you. There are systems on earth. That represents spiritual possibilities. You may argue it and never see certain things happen in your life. Please hear me. Look beyond your personal strength and look at the privileges that God has put in the body. A body has thou prepared for me. A body has thou prepared. This koinonia that you look at every time. Maybe one day I will take out time and share the whole journey. So that you will know that this is not just an ambition of a man to have a ministry. If I want fame, there are easier ways. I'm not dull. I can write books. Are we together? Access to the riches and the blessings of heaven. There are covenants you align with that will open you up to possibilities. I don't want to begin to give you testimonies upon testimonies. Hallelujah. We're already preparing to buy our land. I will not tell you where it is until we buy it. Some of you will be surprised. You will open your mouth and say it's a lie. You can't get land like that. A property that will swallow CGC how many times in this area? Because when you catch the keys, listen, listen, listen. I don't say this to brag. I'm challenging you. It's, it's not by trying. No door opens to shouting. It opens to keys. God is giving you something now. You have been writing jam. You are brilliant, but it's not working. Don't stay foolishly and say, I, I, I know this time around, I, I got 250. No. Are we together? Possibilities. There are men and women who God has put in the body of Christ in territories. That's why Satan creates a lot of controversy around their life. To find them so that what you are supposed to receive will not be given to you. But as we pray, the devil is a liar. Somebody's door is about to be opened. Rise up on your feet, everybody, and let's pray. We are going to pray three prayer points. And I want you to pray it with every, every ounce of strength. No carelessness, no looking around. You are going to cry to God. Prayer point number one. Lord, I acknowledge that I am limited as a person. No matter how spiritual I am. As a pastor, as an apostle, as a prophet, as a teacher, as an individual. I am limited. And I come before you with every sense of humility. Acknowledging my limitation. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I acknowledge Lord, I acknowledge. I acknowledge that you have built a system. You have built a system beyond the personal spiritual progress of a man. 
you have designed this mystery called the body of Christ this strategy called the body of Christ to lift men to bail them out of captivity you have designed this mystery called the body of Christ Hallelujah. Look up, please. Prayer point number two. I want you to be sincere before God. Mention all the things you know you have tried and done all you know to do but has not changed. Mention it before God because we are about to engage a mystery. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I've prayed over this failure in my family. Nothing has seemed to change. Please pray. Outside, make sure you're praying. Those online, make sure you're praying. himself so Jesus had to come and man's salvation now is tied to his alignment to the finished work of Christ it's a pattern there are times your victory will be based on the finished work of others not just of Christ but they have cried the cry for you so you don't cry again 
They have taken the scars for you. So you don't take it again. But if you do not know, Satan will cheat you. There are times you will stand before that Red Sea. Please hear me. Just the same bar, please. You stand before the Red Sea. And the Red Sea will refuse to part. You will, you will invoke your personal altar. It will not open. Let me tell you. There are stubborn challenges like that in the life of a man. You will agree with your wife, your husband. It will not move. When all else fail, switch. Switch. Remember what tribe you belong to. Remember the spiritual possibilities that come. And say, oh God of salvation. Remember, remember, remember. 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 And all of a sudden, your God will arise. Not for your sake. Listen, hear me. I don't know if it's a tight booklet of redeemed or living faith. I can't remember which of them. But there was a woman who had been a faithful titan. I don't know if it's redeemed or living faith. One of the ministries, she testified. Armed robbers came to her house and assassins to kill her and kill her husband. They stepped into the house. They were with guns. The man was there. His wife was there. All that there was was to shoot. And there was nothing to do. The man just, he knew he was gone. All else failed. And all the woman did was to bring out her tight booklet and dropped it on the ground. Remember the covenant. Is it not your house that was built with my money? Is it not souls that are saved with my money? Don't waste your time trying to say one day God will come. No, that one day you can create it. The day the pattern is there. As powerful as Jesus was, his heavens were closed until he had to encounter a man. The heavens of Jesus did not open because he was called Jesus. It was open based on the covenant that came down to John the Baptist. And so when John the Baptist saw Jesus, he said, behold the lamb. And he said, that's not the issue. My heavens are closed. And he said, suffer it to be so. I can't neglect the pattern. And when John dipped Jesus and brought him out, there was a transference and God responded. The heavens opened and he said, this is my beloved son. Please hear me. It's not as hard as your life makes it look. You just don't know what to do. We are going to cry and say, Lord, show me what I must do to come out of this challenge in my presence. Lift your voice and pray. There is always something to do. Koinonia cry. Show me, oh God, what is the secret, the missing link to my healing ministry, the missing link to bring prosperity to my life. Who are thou mounting before Zerubbabel? There is a mystery, there is a pattern, there is a mystery, there is a pattern. Let hope rise. Darkness when losing your hope be light. Let hope, let it rise. Let hope, let it rise. Let it rise. Darkness when losing your hope be light. Hallelujah! Listen, we are going to pray. Please look up, everybody. We are going to pray. Just one more prayer and I will pray for us. I'd like you to pray. This ground, not I don't mean physical ground, but this mystery called koinonia 
is, is enshrined in strange covenants that are responsible for possibilities. Now, please pay attention. We're about to pray strategic prayer. Are we together? I'd like you to pray in one minute and say, Lord, I invoke the covenant that is upon this ministry. The possibilities that your appearance, the sacrifices are brought. I invoke it upon my life. Pray. The covenant of open doors. The covenant of his Shatina glory. Access to kings. Access to strange favor. Hey, 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 hey. Pastors, pray. Let it come upon my ministry, oh God. Pray. Let it come upon my life. Say, Kamariana Malana Namasi. Say, Nana Namasi, Nana Mati. Lord I've written this jam by my strength I've tried and tried but I invoke the covenant Lord I've tried to make money by my strength I've fasted I've sown seed I invoke the covenant Lord I've tried to get a job I've tried to get a job it's not working. I cry to the God of heaven. Let hope, let hope, let it rise tonight. Let it rise tonight. The covenant of long life. The covenant of honor, strange honor, access to kings, access to nobles, access to royalties, access to power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you pray this next prayer, listen, there will be strange impartations and strange testimonies on people. This, these are testimonies coming from heaven. Are we together? I want you to pray it with all your heart all your heart all your heart listen listen see that you are part of this great house is no guarantee that you will enjoy the blessings that come it must be intentional proximity is not connection are we together proximity is not connection i have tapped into the covenant that God has had with people who have gone higher than me and they have opened me to strange doors. Realms that I know are not realms that are as a result of my personal prayer life. I'm a product of many anointings, many graces, many spiritual possibilities. Please hear what I'm telling you and step into a strange, I show you a deep mystery. Many of you will not appreciate it until you struggle and life whips nonsense out of you you will come back to this message and it will make sense to you there are many ministries that are anointed but they may never grow they have done all they need to do they have prayed there are groups there are all kinds of sincere people around you've done all you know to do listen you were not designed to do everything as regards your growth by yourself 
That's why God put the body. Did a body has thou prepared? A body has thou prepared? Are we together? There are mysteries. When a Jimmy shared with me the supernatural birth of his wife, I couldn't believe it. In minutes, she had given birth. Case closed. Because there are mysteries you engage. Are we together? Please hear what I'm saying. You see Hope standing. You see Aaron's wife standing. Almost as if they didn't give birth. Right? There is a mystery. What you don't know does not mean it cannot work. You just don't know how to make it work. Are we together? We are going to pray. One last prayer with all your heart. Every area you know must work in your life. Listen, listen, listen. It pleases the Lord when you have testimonies. It pleases the Lord. There are some of us, certain sicknesses are killing us. No, You've taken drugs, you've done everything without your imagination. There are, there, are, there are graces that we have seen. Sometimes, all it takes is recognition to say, Lord, I tap into this grace. I shared with you my story when I went to sow a seed to God's servant, Bishop David Oedeko. And when I came out, the Lord asked me, kneel down on the ground, bare ground, that ground. I laid my hands upon it. It's not about idolizing altars and all of that, no. And he said, lay your hands on the ground. I laid my hands on the bare ground. And the Lord said, from this day, you have entered the overflow anointing. Are we together? It was an old woman who prophesied upon my life and said, my son, forever you will walk upon gold. That's what that mama told me. Till tomorrow, to, whether she's a human being or an angel, I don't know. I bought sugar cane of 50 naira. Sugar cane of 50 naira changed my destiny forever. Are we together? You join them, you will die like them. Listen to what I'm telling you. There are many arrogant people in our society who believe they know what they are doing. Even when they are quarter to destruction, they will still be bragging. If you are not seeing results for a long time in your life, please calm down and find out what is it. Thank God for the area you are seeing results. But what of the areas where there are no results? We are going to pray. And you are going to cry to the God of your salvation in one minute and say, Lord, the unction the grace, the unction that must land upon my life now for those doors to open. If it did not come through my personal prayer life, then I take advantage of this spiritual formation that is in this house. I take advantage of this spiritual formation. Are we praying? Go ahead and pray. I'm about to pray for you, but pray. The anointing that must come upon my life, must come upon my ministry, must come upon my prayer group. The grace. Let it come, oh God, let it come. Let it come, oh God, let it come. Let it come, oh God, let it come. Shakata prakata bara da bala kosoto praskate. Em prakata kata tata po kosoto prakata bara da bosh. Makata pakarata kasekete. Em praktas kata baska bosoto badi kata. Pareke teke teke tepe kete kotos. Meka praskata bara tati. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Spirit, pray out. Break our walls down. Spirit break out Break our walls down Spirit break out Heaven come down Lift your
your hands. Father, I'm about to pray for you. Something will come upon your life right now. And I want you to believe it. In the name that is above all names. Father, it is by your wisdom and by your orchestration you designed the body. No one designed it and gave it a blueprint. You designed the blueprint of the tabernacle in heaven. And you gave Moses and said reproduce it on earth. And the moment they built according to pattern, your glory came. Lord, there is a spiritual formation in this house that makes for your presence, that makes for influence, that makes for honor, that makes for effective prayer lives. And Lord, I pray that that grace in no small way, by covenant, I cry upon you, the God of my salvation, that tonight, oh God, you remember your covenant with this house and that you change the lives of people. Therefore, right now, I pray, I stretch my hands at the count of three. I pray that this grace will come upon people right now. Father, remember the covenant. In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, take it now. 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 Wherever you are, I challenge those mountains. Take the anointing. Challenge the business mountain. Take the anointing. Challenge death. Challenge it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it now. Please help them. Inside and outside, I release that grace. The grace that is an incense from the covenant upon this house. Every spirit that has refused to leave your destiny to move forward right now in the name of Jesus. The same way Balaam could not cause Israel. I command that spirit. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the voice of the altar. Be gone now. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see things leaving the stomach of ladies. Many ladies. This is what I'm saying. Something that looks, I don't know what it looks like, honestly. But I'm seeing it leaving people in strange ways. Lord, let it go. Let it go. Whatever it represents. Now, now, now. Let it go. Every sickness. Let it go. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Heaven, calm down. Take over. Take over, I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over, I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself Take over, take over I have come to the end of myself Take over, take over I have touched the end of myself Hallelujah, hallelujah I have come to the end of myself Hallelujah your voice and begin to pray say lord i need help mention the areas you need his help if you don't need any help pray for koinonia pray for the ministry lord i need help pray i need help in my marriage pray i need help in my finances I need help in my academics. I need help on my job. Are you praying? Thou son of David, I cry for your mercy.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Lord, I know it is within your power to help me. I ask for your help. Let your power address my case tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know. Oh, it is within your power to give me a husband. It is within your power to give me a wife. It is within your power to cause my business to flourish. It is within your power to bring restoration. It is within your power to give me a child. It is within your power to cure HIV. It is within your power to deliver me. Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace. I just showed you your contribution to your failure. You must take responsibility and say, Lord, I take responsibility and I receive grace to make the adjustments. There's nothing embarrassing about it. From all that I've said, you know the area that affects you. Say, Lord, I take responsibility. The part you cannot do for yourself, you will do. But the part that is your responsibility, you must take responsibility. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, we take responsibility in the name of Jesus. We receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive the grace to pursue wisdom, to seek wisdom like a jewel. We receive grace to pursue understanding. We receive grace to live by the truths that we know. We receive grace to be convicted. hallelujah hallelujah shortly we are going to begin ministering we'll be very fast today i want to see how we can close on time so we're going straight to the point hallelujah we'll try to do everything very very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible hallelujah you're going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself are you ready now please i want you to speak it these are instructions from god i know you have been praying in your secret place it's not the same thing you are doing now open your mouth and prophesy everything god will do for you lift your voice and pray i walk out of here healed tonight come on now as as you must leave me tonight as you must leave me tonight Confusion must end in my life tonight. 
that idea that I need for my business that idea that I need for promotion that restoration I refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration that mantle that renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word oh yes 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 pray pray in the name of the lord jesus christ pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life pray that you must be delivered this night every spirit tying your family every spirit tying your progress pray enough is enough he must live my life lord i must be delivered today hallelujah 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 in recent time i have seen tremendous increase of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance i have seen this all my life but i have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe don't be part of those who have come to waste their time there are people standing outside just staring at others forget about them and be focused you know what you are going through miracle service is not it's not a marriage ceremony it's not an album dedication you don't come and just watch and smile you come with anger in your heart and say lord I, I won't go back that way who told you ss cannot be healed who told you as cannot change who told you the the biological problem cannot go who told you you cannot get breakthrough lord jesus we thank you we release this atmosphere to you and your power Lord, I know that you will do amazing things even in this place. We trust you for a quick walk. There are lives, there are destinies that need to be changed. Lord, there are people under all kinds of the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives. Let not one of them escape the power of the Holy Spirit. There are sick bodies that need to be healed, oh God. Let not one of them escape the healing power of God. There are families that have come with burdens. Lord, I pray. Your people have come with prayer requests. Impossible situations. But they believe in you. So Lord, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, while the ministration continues please if you have not written your prayer requests make sure that you write them it's important it's not a religious formality it's a revelation that god gave us hallelujah during the dinner those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers hallelujah so in one minute just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start please if you are yet to write let's just give them an opportunity please help one another with um, papers 
you can feel free to put on your phone contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer request if it's possible there are many who have sent their own hundreds online Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please make sure you write everything. Write everything you are trusting God to do in your life. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a very simple song. Lift your voice and sing it to your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
I look at this lady and I see a spirit. A very serious spirit. Hold my hands. The Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit. Because this is something that wants to destroy your life. Is your sister here? Where's her sister? Is her sister here? Is she here? I need to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family. There is a spirit that I saw and this is something that has to do with somebody dying. Hallelujah. Who is here? Where is she? Please, let's save time um, very quickly so that we can. We have to pray. I'm seeing death in your family. This is somebody's obituary God wants to avert. You can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. For you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want to do. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Not, not Pastor Femi. Femi. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Femi. Who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi. Your name is Femi? Who is a visitor? You are the one. From where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes. Sir. You came from Jigawa State. Yes, sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire and yes. take you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought you came to receive. I've called you several times. Sir. Eh? I've called your number several times. You know, you You will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Yeah. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria. Victoria. I hear a name Victoria. Please, who is Victoria? Let me just respond to you. Victoria. Victoria. There is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype. Genotype. You're trusting God for a change of genotype. I don't know if it has to do with um, S, S, A, S, anyone like that. This is a Victoria I see. I want to minister to. A Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype. We have to frustrate come we have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage look at me we have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage huh because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest you understand this is this is the devil is not going to lord it over you we are going to pray please I want you to believe I don't have to call your case I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me and then we'll just get into prayer Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, visit this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother? Who is sick? Who is sick in your family? My mom. Because I'm seeing that, ah, we have to pray. I have, we have to pray. Hmm? This is December. Your mother will just sleep and they will tell you, I'm not a prophet of doom. They will tell you that she's dead. She has been talking about death. We have to rebuke this thing. She has been seeing dead people in her dream. She sleeps and she sees dead people. And they will be stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them. Some of them are people who have died before. See, there are families here with those things. But we are going to deal with it. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this family. That spirit of death over the family. 
in the name of Jesus we roll it away we roll it away by the power of the Holy Spirit and for you I curse this spirit that is in you in the name of Jesus when the time for deliverance comes the Lord is going to set you free completely in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you your hands are blessed listen your hands are blessed God expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself your hands are blessed the Lord is saying I should tell you that these hands are blessed hands are you getting what I'm saying you have to pray and trust God for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and he will bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things God is giving you number one God is giving you wisdom number two God is giving you stability huh I see you but I see like a wind you are here and there God needs to give you stability father you will give him stability in the name of Jesus come my dear I pray for you you will marry a foolish man say amen I curse every spirit delaying her marriage now in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke that spirit come um, I have to pray for you hold my hands Lord she must be free today today is her day of liberty in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke this spirit you must leave her I see you in the spirit out of her right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ my dear do you love Jesus very well Huh? Please, he wants you to take him very seriously. Okay? Where are you from, my dear? Benway State. Benway State. Is, who is here with you? Brother. Your brother. Where is he? Love. Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start the ministry. What's his name? Joseph, huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying I should tell you he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying. But as the days unfold you will see God honor you. Father let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. Supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Shabra Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to begin to minister. Deliverance is very important. Very, very important. It's the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences. You see, sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of 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 bondage but then you will need the grace of God you will need the wisdom of God you will need his grace to give you direction and I'm going to pray for you right now my goodness the power of God is strong in this place so many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals in fact God is going to start with families that's what I see God doing hallelujah praise the lord you've heard this happen again and again i don't know why god does this but a lady is going to shout under the anointing and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living god lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of jesus at the count of three i want everyone to shout jesus from the depth of your heart I challenge every spirit 
I challenge every voice and every altar, oh God, that has kept your people bound, that has kept families bound. There's no place for escape for you tonight. Lord, I pray that in a mighty way, as your people begin to shout, you visit them. My goodness, the power of God is already coming on people. At the count of three, one, two, get ready now. Get ready. Three. Fire upon you right now. Deliverance fire in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Help them, please. Help those people right now in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside. I release the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. I see the power of God along this region. Right here where the ministers are staying. I see the power of God right now. I cast that spirit. I challenge every power, every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Those outside alone, those inside you can relax. Those outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There are people who are tied to covenants. I hear covenants in the spirit. People tied to covenants. As you shout that name, it's like a wind that will blow outside. And the power of God will begin to set people free. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We release deliverance outside. We release mighty deliverance. Now lift your hands. You don't have to shout. Just keep it lifted. Hallelujah. I'm going to begin to speak and prophesy. And for all those who are affected, the power of God will begin to touch them. Bring them out here. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Now I pray. Every family here, under any spell, every family, Lord, where are they? Right now, let the power of God touch them. Touch them now. Now, now. Right now, in the congregation, every family, under any kind of spell, I bring deliverance right now. I bring deliverance right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bring deliverance. Help that lady. I bring deliverance right now. Right now. Keep your hands lifted. Right now. Father, identify families that have suffered every cause. Right now. In the name of Jesus. All over the congregation. Inside and outside. Hallelujah. Keep your hands lifted. No instruments. Just keep your hands lifted. I'm going to pray. I see fire rolling in the realm of the spirit. Now that fire, listen. That fire is going to come upon individuals. I'm hearing stagnation. That's what I'm hearing. Please keep your hands lifted inside and outside. Lord, wherever those people are, get set right now as I speak. The fire will burst and begin to touch people. Stagnation, wherever they are, shake it, 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 begin to touch them right now by that fire. Receive it right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. All over the building. In the name of Jesus Christ. That spirit of stagnation that has been responsible. I see some people being touched outside. I see people being touched outside. Hallelujah. This row, lift your hands. Just this row. Lift your hands. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you. The moment I stretch my hands, the power of God will move in dramatic ways. And I'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough. That's what is coming. Please make sure you believe. 
at the count of three i want you to shout jesus it will be a mighty move of the spirit lord i do as you have instructed and at the count of three let there be breakthroughs one two three help them please we command it in the name of Jesus bring them out lift your voice and begin to pray every force that has tied down my life you must leave me right now pray as some of you are praying the power of God will be touching you every spirit that is responsible make sure you are praying hallelujah please lift your hands only the ladies i want to pray for you only the ladies a woman represents a gate in the spirit and there are many ladies whose gates are tied and closed but the bible says to open up the two leaf gates it will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now please keep your hands lifted father i pray in a mighty way let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three as they shout jesus let those gates be open get set now ladies one two three open now open now open now my goodness i see padlocks opening that's what i'm seeing in the spirit open up those gates in the name of jesus open up those gates open up those gates now open up those gates now open up those gates now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen lift your voice and violently pray in one minute and command that spirit to leave you go ahead and pray please by the power of the holy spirit you must leave my family just keep praying it's a new season by the anointing of the holy ghost every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord who came with this woman i'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry Mom. stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit right now that spirit leave this woman right now in the name of jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of jesus i command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give jesus praise give jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama 
Jesus. Jesus. Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Mama, this mama, come. Your time of breakthrough has come. Hold on. Look at what's wrong with you. My leg cannot open. Your leg cannot this open. Leg, uh, this leg. Uh, How long? 20 something years. 20. How many years? I, it's Who knows her? Years. You know you are their son. Come now. You come and stand close to your mother. How many years? More than 20 years. Where are you from? We are from Sabongari. Mama? You believe Jesus will touch yes, you? Yes, sir. I tell you, there is nothing Jesus cannot do. Yes, there is sir. the anointing. You believe it? Yes, sir. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Heal me. Heal me. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Heal me. Heal me. Father, you died for this reason right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be healing right now. Look at what is happening to her. In the name of Jesus. Mama, hold my hands. Walk. Come. 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 Try to climb. Now, lift your leg. Try to lift it. It didn't used to open before. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift it and do what you could not do. Just do it. Do it. Open the other one. In the name of Jesus. God is already giving you a miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit. Can you see a miracle happening? She could not open the leg completely could not open it in the name of jesus christ look at look at this god is giving this woman a eh? before she said she, she could not stand for five minutes i cannot stand for five minutes but right now god is touching you your back will be paining you in the name of jesus christ this perfection you have started that back ache i lay my hands and i release the anointing in the name of jesus christ just keep under the anointing she'll stand up and check herself hallelujah i'm seeing another mother i don't know why god is visiting our mothers right now i'm seeing mama please come can i talk to you ma somebody help that woman. please don't if we talk to you speak whatever language you can speak there will always be somebody to interpret it it doesn't have to be that you must speak english whose, whose mother is this eh? well done mommy What's, what's the issue? What brought her here? She has been complaining of different illness. Mama, what's wrong with you? I got BP. I got BP. This twenty day, my blood they move like this. My as I'm looking at our mother, Mama, as I look at you, I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach. That thing starts moving. Is that? And then it comes towards your chest area uh, then sometimes you feel pain at your back here yes, sir. that devil will leave you right now Amen. in the name of jesus christ you believe in jesus i'm going to pray that god will use this lady because i looked at her and i just saw a dove rise from her you what's your name faith faith yes sir you will be a woman of faith you believe that let me pray for you father anoint this lady let your power come upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will use you mightily. Mama, let's pray for you. Lay your hands on your chest, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is healing you right now. High blood pressure, high blood pressure and every other sickness, I rebuke it right now. And I command the spirit that oppresses you to live. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen if you know you are involved in anything whether maybe you have a shop you are in business and nothing is working just lift your hands i want to pray for those people right now that's what the holy spirit is telling me please believe
Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. downwards. What? You can walk. It's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't sit for long unless I lie down. I can't stand for long. Okay, mama, just clear the way. Let mama, you are her son. You're welcome. Let her just sit down there. We'll soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to, listen, listen. We are going to pray. We'll invite people to come out now. Well, I'm going to pray for the sick. I'll lay hands on all of you. Praise the Lord. So that we can just hurry up. If we do it one by one like this, we may not have all the time. Um, but why, why is she coming out? Uh, my problem is one year. You are eating the dream. Yes. Food, you mean? One year now. For one year, non-stop. Last month, on, on today's 15 days, my stomach, my back, in the pain. I don't be sleep. I don't be eat. Last, uh, last week, uh, Friday, I enter hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never stop. We we'll pray, Jesus Christ will set you free in the name of Jesus. Mama, you two, just go and sit down there. Please, no, our mothers, don't worry. When we start praying for the sick, this is what we'll do. We may give room so that we we'll start with some of our elderly ones so that they can go back. They may not have that strength. Will that be fine? So as you line up, if you see any elderly man or woman, you can just push them forward so that we minister to them and then they can go and sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But lift your hands now. I want to release breakthrough. I mean, I, I mentioned the case right now. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. And I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. And I will praise him. Every force, Kabbalah, Tabarada. Keep your hands lifted. That has tied down your business. All the works of your hands. Some of you will feel fire on your hand. Literal fire. It will start burning on your hands right now. In the name that is above all names. I pray. As that fire comes on your hand. Ideas begin to come to you. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. It's already happening to people right now. It's happening to people. The fire is coming on people. Help this brother, please. The fire is coming on people right now. Your hands, ideas, ideas. This fire represents ideas. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, as we pray for the sick, I know there are many people here who are sick. Please be orderly as you come. While that is happening, every prayer request, please pass it over to the ushers. You have your prayer request. You can use the time to call some of your loved ones. By the way, when we begin to prophesy, for some of you who have your loved ones at home, you can put on the phone and connect with them, honestly. If they have the faith to receive and they believe, They'll be surprised at what happens to them. You are trusting God for a healing miracle. Make your way to the front now and begin to pray. There is a God that heals here. Yeah. Yes. Mama, please don't cry. Can you get her a handkerchief, please?
help our mother with this handkerchief. Please make your way to the front. It's called a miracle service. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Forward all the elderly ones to the front. Please, all our elderly ones. Looked around and I realized That you've been so good to me standing here can we begin to talk to the Lord and say father please who am I that you are mindful of me who am I that you hear my cry when I call you how can I love you more know you more Source of my strength, now you, the strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence, now you, you're the source of my life, the strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence. show you look at this oh my god put the camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary who is her mother this is her mother crying who is her mother? Why did the mother stay outside now and bring the... Oh, she went to bring Matt. They brought the girl on his... What's wrong with her? She has been sick for over six months now, but they have been not... They have not able to be... No diagnosis. You will look at her and think it's HIV. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When a spirit enters a man, it leaves out his character through that person. Okay, let's, let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't, can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabu de Suki Hausa? We will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she'll speak her language. Um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Uh -huh. Son of the two um, cancer. Cancer? Uh -huh. Eight. Eight? Uh -huh. Cancer, the eight took her. And uh, Basr. You mean? Basr. What's that? Uh -huh. Pile, cancer, HIV. Uh -huh. Look at this. Uh -huh. Tell her she brought. She brought her expecting. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Jesus, okay. Kina. Kana Osa. So say. Kede in Ali. Kasuna. Kede in Kasuna. She never hear Osa. But is that not your language? Mama Kerkita, we are going to pray for her now. Oh, we are going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Kana Ji. Eh. How old is she? Help 
man. She, she. You would think this girl is, is 10 years. She's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married with two children. Oh my God. Ah, mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV, at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, now you. Hey, my confidence, now you. Source of my life, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy. My dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ I command that spirit of infirmity that devil of HIV that devil of cancer I command him to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ I will ask you people to help her get up eventually my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I release strength to you strength to you strength to you try to move your hands or your leg go ahead try to move your hand or your leg if you can do you have enough strength for that can she hear me she's so weak she can't even hear me it's well just leave her to lie down with the glory as i pray for other people i mean she's so weak she cannot even hear me God, the devil is wicked listen i assure you that whatever it is What's that? Okay, the request. Don't worry. We'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and we'll try to lift her up and see what happens. Father, I pray for everyone here. Let the power of God touch them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone came. Please be patient. You don't have to rush. The Lord himself will touch you. You came for a reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to tell me what is wrong with you. If I ask you, you can tell me, but it doesn't matter. The spirit of death is on this woman. But mama, look at me. Come, please. What's wrong with her? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Yes. What's wrong with you, madam? Now, since where would they for Abuja? Now, the bubble. Where the bumble blow. So what? I'm I'm selling something for Nyanya. Uh, I'm selling food with yeah. you. Where bomb will blow for that side? Bomb. Uh, oh uh, bomb blast. Yes, and now fall down. I know I cannot get out. They're telling me to go hospital. Oh the bomb, bomb blast that happened in Nyanya. Yes. So it affected you. Uh, so I can't get out. They're telling me to go hospital. So, uh, I spent four months go no go. They're telling me to go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. They, call, they carried you go where? Uh, plan, man. May go treat me. Say hospital, no figure. A doctor? Oh, how about this? Uh, okay. Plan, it's okay. The full animal collected 50,000. You know, I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen, let me let me press it down. Any man, I don't care who, who tells you to bring money to get a miracle, even if it's me, run away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mama? Our mothers, I'm begging you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any man, any priest, any prophet, any pastor, any apostle, any human being, herbalist, whoever, that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle, tell him Joshua Selman said he's a thief. He's not a man of God. Are we together? And now we start the cure the thief. The, if you give me medicine, I drink, I will bring bad, bad dream in the night. So, tell her that four months, go and no go. 
the man now time to bring thirty thousand again. I said, I'm not even seeing food. Now she bring thirty thousand again. Uh, I'm not seeing food to talk to my children again now. I now start the bed, the man no agree. That mommy, I'm a girl for some my room before. Mommy, what, what? Now I can't serve. I can't serve my room here. Come and say, come and I work up for prayer to prayer. But I the not prayer for you. When they say, make I come, make go. I know they, I know they come. I'll just lie down, the feet pain everything. Do you know that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough? Have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia? On your way going, they just change their mind. It's not them. There is a spirit. I tell you that you make your way here alone is a sign that God is ready to visit you. Okay, what 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 exactly? Enter today. I must enter as I just uh, come out for road. The machine just come. You say where the grass and at this church. He says, Oh, make a go, make a go in Opa. Welcome the Osha people. Say, Well, they go, they go to my I say, I know if you work out. These people can serve God, then then carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God bless our hand. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish, they come, they advise me, say, Make a no hurry to enter. And now when they start the play, I entered through gate. That I just stand up with my, with my now this hand the test stand because all this side, you know. And now softly stand up. Uh, stand. God come give me a condemn. Strength. My power. What what power. part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Yeah, I go so. Oh your leg. Oh I see. Father. It's, it's okay, madam. Ma mama. Uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now, eh? In Jesus' name, we'll pray for you. If she couldn't walk, oh, there is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil, leave her. You think it's bomb blast. But, oh, she could not walk, oh. They had to carry her, and now she's even standing. That's even a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, Look at me. Hold my hands. I minister strength to you. Look at me. Come. Come. Help her. In the name of Jesus. Walk. I will hold you. Walk. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. Came on a bike. Could not walk. Come. Slowly. Just take it slowly. Look at this. You can see that it's happening gradually. Gradually. These hands were paralyzed. Madam, look at me. Try to lift it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Look at this. Lift it. Lift it. Drop it down. Lift it again. Lift it again. Completely paralyzed. Completely paralyzed. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. A miracle is happening. Do what you couldn't do. The devil is a liar. The more you take that step of faith, the more you see God stepping in. Father, this miracle is perfected in her body in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Just keep exercising her. We'll have to pray. Please, any special case, we'll minister it. Our time is gone. I saw the spirit of death. She was supposed to die in that bomb blast. I didn't even know it was Nyanya bomb blast. That Boko Haram bomb blast. May you never be a victim of any man's wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ. The moment I pray for you, please, as you return back, check yourself and do what you couldn't do before. If it's a striking, striking testimony, we'll just take it here. Worship team, lead us through sessions of worship as we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. short of blood I look at you sir and your face has changed to the face of a cat this is what licks your blood this is what I'm seeing this is demonic you understand what I'm saying there was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you dog dog was pursuing you and I need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death in 
the name of Jesus Christ. I command that spirit, that devil of darkness to leave. Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we can. stretch your hands at this baby and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus you will have a child make sure you are praying one month two weeks a hole in his heart if God does not step in this baby will either die or something will happen I tell you we are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ we can agree father we reject this we reject this as you are rejecting it for this child so it will be in your life reject it lord your church is praying we change this report baby we speak to you baby you will not die you will not die you will not die we close this hole hallelujah go and check him don't cry don't cry eh? you are not going to lose your baby in the name of jesus christ amen we are going to pray it's going to be very very fast as i lay my hands on you just it's just a touch there is a reason why i'm doing this myself and i lay hands on you just a touch the lord is wiping your tears the lord is wiping your tears and not just because you are crying physically this woman is coming with so much pains the lord is wiping your tears now in the name of jesus out of her that demon that causes pain in the name of jesus christ
Let her go now. Out! Make sure you submit a prayer request. Ushers, you can begin to bring the prayer request forward. Please, everybody, inside and outside, make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough. So please, forward the prayer request. If you still have yours, just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly. Please, guys, let's do this very fast so that we can finish. As hands are being laid on you, I just want you to believe that God is touching you.
presence there is power when we worship you This is, this is, it's not a religious activity. It's an instruction that God gave us. Because you see, no matter how I lay hands on everybody one by one, we may not have all the time for everybody to state what their needs are. But then let me tell you something. The truth about it is that I'm not the most important person in this meeting. There is one who is mightier than I. You didn't write this request to Joshua Selma, and I will not even read one of them. This is unto the God who can solve problems. 
Mommy, please come. Yes. I've been looking at this woman and I've been wondering what it is that God, what would you want God to do for you? To give me a quality spouse. To give you a quality spouse. This is what I'm looking at this woman and my heart has been drawn to her for a while. Madam, you want to get married because you are not afraid and ashamed to say this in the presence of the people. Look at me. I stake my reputation on this prophecy that I will give you. You hear me? If a man does not come to marry you, go and publish it in the newspaper that I lied. You believe what I'm saying? I will not implicate myself and be a fool like this. Because as soon as I looked at you, you said spouse. I saw a man putting a ring in your hand. That's why I'm telling you what I'm saying. You believe this? Be sure to return and give the testimony. And everybody be sure to look at her. You are seeing her today. When she comes back with her husband. So you don't say that. This is stage manage. Father, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, just cover her. I'm going to pray. Let me have, okay, it's props water. I wish there's any other one just to pray on it and then they'll give her. She's too weak. We can't even test her whether or not. But I see her moving her legs and moving all of this. This is ordinary. Okay, this is ordinary water. We'll just pray on it since that's the only thing. She's a child, isn't she? Bata child, isn't she? Say me. Roa. Roa ka bata kada. Tozan ya dua ko. Say me sa jana bata. Ache. Yenzu da. Father, I pray that this water will lose its earthly significance and take on a heavenly significance. That as she takes this, oh God, let this be um, a cleansing agent. Let it be like a drug in her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can she hear you? Ask her how she's feeling now. I'm sorry, I you see she's gaining some strength she couldn't move before but we see her gaining some strength uncle you don't can you see her gaining some strength she's even moving she's pushing her away same issue something is happening to her Look at this. Are you seeing? Look at this. Look at this. By herself. Oh. This is the power of the Lord. This in itself is a miracle. If you saw the way they brought her. Mama. Brother, the Holy Spirit is doing something in her life. My dear, as God grants you grace, you can just be moving your body gradually. We prayed on this and um mama gashi abata bakwabane zesha for amata dua go the was asana abata for if you keep it there all these children will come and take you thank you jesus stretch your hands on this prayer request as we pray let's pray on these requests Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands and let's ask the Lord to visit us. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. Father, we are praying right now in the name of Jesus. We are praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. I'm seeing the Lord giving people miracles of jobs. Jobs. I see employment of jobs. I see a family that dropped a request here. Something about building a house. 
and it looks like you will not complete it the lord is saying before december 25th you will enter that house please pray father visit me talk to the lord tell him your request is here let there be miracles oh god let there be miracles in the name of jesus every request here to a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ requests of marriages may they be granted some of you have dropped requests here because the admission list came out and you did not see your name Lord we agree I don't know how you would do it but we agree that there be miracles In the name of Jesus. Lord, we release breakthroughs. We release all kinds of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands as I prophesy. Everyone. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you if i tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please i want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of jesus christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life. Supernatural breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands on your head, I pray. Father, mm, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now, now. Wisdom, help him please. Wisdom in the name of Jesus. Supernatural wisdom. Understanding. Receive the impartation. Wisdom in business. Wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting god for direction in the name of jesus may the force of god come to you and bring you direction in the name of jesus christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do i speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from january till now in the name of the lord jesus christ 
may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you wherever they are everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job the hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus' name. 
everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of jesus christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated in the name of jesus listen i prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder i speak it upon your life in the name of jesus christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life I pray for your dreams and visions of the ideas God has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insight in the name of Jesus from today I declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting God for restoration I pray for you I don't know what you have lost I command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what I'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no I'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of jesus christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the holy spirit I pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of Jesus Christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now very quickly we're out of time please keep standing everybody there are people here who are saying Lord Jesus I'm committing my life and my all to you please keep standing everybody no movements around there are people inside and outside here you came for this meeting and you have seen what the Lord Jesus Christ has done and you are saying Lord I want to surrender my life I've been living my life the way I want but I want to hand it over to you tonight some of you are giving your life to Christ for the first time some of you are rededicating your life you said I've, I've come out once but something has happened in my life wherever you are in the next one minute I know many people outside those inside please join them come out here and I will lead you to give your life to Jesus Christ wherever you are young old don't sit down wait for anybody koinonia celebrate them make your way to the front don't be embarrassed this is what jesus can do with your life you've given people who are less than him your life why don't you commit everything i know this is not all there are still people inside and outside please make your way quickly god bless you as you come make your way quickly hallelujah while the rest join them god bless you keep coming quickly please hurry up and join them catch up with them it's a decision that will change your life forever we may not know who you are but we know where you are going because with Jesus your journey is secured you've lived your life anyhow and you're saying I'm tired of playing games with God I want to make it right there is always room for you the throne is where you start from hallelujah praise the Lord Jesus. I want you to lift your right hand and say after me Lord Jesus Please say it very seriously say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart I believe in you 
tonight I surrender my life completely to you take everything about me use me for your glory in the name of Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit from today I'm not the same person again the power of sin is broken over my life in Jesus name father I pray for these ones whose hands are lifted bless them they have made a decision for you they remain in you forever give them a new life in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus now, I'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving their hands they'll have your details and they'll welcome you more warmly very quickly madam we're finished praying tap that madam she can follow them hallelujah praise the Lord now all those who are worshiping with us for the first time very quickly one minute make your way to the front we want you to go back with an anointing and with a blessing honor them koinonia they are the result of your prayers our mothers our fathers our brothers and sisters thank you so much thank you so much they are the result of our prayers our commitment we prayed and asked the lord to bring you and bless you look how many people god is bringing come on celebrate jesus hallelujah now very quickly thank you so much sas mass thank you for coming this is koinonia a meeting put together by eternity network international we're here Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words, let them not depart from thy eyes, and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.